welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're a bit vlog styly today and we'll be all over the place. Also, if I move my head, my bra is hanging out of that dress. <laughs> oh, this is my dress. Remember I was saying in a video for the book signing that I'm doing in Eason's? So it's, I absolutely adore it, but I needed to get a bra that I'm gonna just stitch into it to make it work. And I went to, I went to go to all Marks and Spencer's because your girl has, she needs support. <laughs> but anyway, my bra looks huge. It's very unsexy, nude. But um, here we are. I wanna remove this. I am in the kitchen today and I'm making some teacup candles. They're in the book, page 24. Oh, you guys have seen me make these, but for anybody new, recipe, page 24 in the book. But I, the reason why I'm making them today is because I need to like practice my recipes because I'm doing Hinterland. I don't think they've announced it yet, but it's in June. I think it's the last weekend of June and I'm on this Sunday. Um, it's like a literary festival. And first of all, I am just happy to be even invited because I'm like, I'm not a literary you know, it's nice to be included in them things is what I'm trying to say. I never would consider myself like in a literary sense. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense. Basically, I'm just happy to be invited. So I have to do a demo. I've been very open with you guys about my absolute fear of public speaking. And I have no ambitions of doing becoming a live television presenter, that would be my idea of hell. Um, no offense to anyone who is, it's just my names. Look, I can't be doing that live. However, I would like to get comfortable with doing in-person speaking things and demo things, because A, they're actually quite fun to do if you can put your nerves aside. B, I want to actually meet people. I want like you guys to come. I want to be able to like chat and engage with you and do demos and be like in person because the internet and talking to the camera, like that can get a bit, you know, lonely and it's a bit, I know like I chat to you guys in the comments, but I would like to get out and about. And I'm the sort of person that if I have to do something, I do have to practice it and make sure, like I couldn't just show up and just shoot from the hip. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I am making some teacup candles and I'm also putting together some of my other teacup projects. So I might have some china to do a demo where, you know, the tea cake stands. Yeah, so tea cake stands on the clock. So what I might do is drill into a plate. Uh, so I have it as like, here's my before because I'm not gonna drill like in the moment. So yeah, my demo at the moment, sorry if you can hear the wind, is going to be about teacups and recycling them and turn them into different things. But as I was making a batch, I currently have two teacup pans just resting and setting on the table. And obviously like, you know, heat and being nervous, shaky hand, do I really want to be doing a demo that involves like heat and melting things? Um, but then I'm like, hey ho, it's either that or someone I'm painting. So sure, samey samey. So as I'm making these seco candles, I'm just jotting down notes of like things. If I am doing this as a demo, that I need to change like straight away. I need to have like a measuring jug or jot of that down that has a spout on it because the other one that I was pouring in it was falling all over. So you don't want that in a demo. And what else? Yeah, my temperature and yeah, just laying out all of the items. So let's make some teacup candles and. If you do get the book, page 24, follow along. I'm gonna do my demo. <laughs> but I'll do it nice for YouTube and, you know. And then, yeah, hopefully I'll be less scatty and I'll feel a bit organized and then I can put all of my stuff in a box in the one place so that when I have to go and do my demo um, or if I get called to do something, I can be like, okay, here's my bag of tricks, my party piece, recycled china. <laughs> that could be my pitch, but, um. Yeah, if you have to public speak or like do demos or anything like that and it gives you the fear of God. The only way to do through it is, no, the only way through fear, what's that phrase? Oh, it'll come to me. Basically, you just have to do it. And I have no expectations of perfection whatsoever. We all got to start somewhere. I'm sure Oprah's first speech wasn't amazing, although it probably was because it's Oprah, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's make teacup candles.
I've had an experiment. <laughs> I've given myself a tension headache. So I've made the teacup candles and I jotted down like things I would need what I'm where it's a bit messy when I'm doing the demo. So I need to get myself a measuring jug that has a spout, um, preferably a metal one, because when I poured the soy into the thing, um, it was spilling the first time. I used the cup the second time, but a little measuring jug. I think I'll get one of them. <laughs> and what else? Yeah, I need to put some cloths into my stash so I have them to hand for when I spill the wax. I also need to put the wax in the box. So I think I've not nailed my demo, <laughs> but I have a something something. That's an old candle that I'm burning there that you saw because um, you just have to wait. Oh, they smell lovely. I just used lavender in this batch because I wanted, I need all of the relaxation I can get. Um, yeah, they smell lovely. Uh, I'm just letting them set. So they, they look like they've set on top, but they're probably soft on the inside. So I give them like a day just to set until I like them. And that's soy wax that I used in them as well. Okay, now I have to rummage through my craft cupboard and see if I have plates that I drilled holes in, which I think I do. I need to go up and check because I need to put them in my demo box to have to hand, to be like, here's another project. So I'm gonna go and find that. Okay, I have raided the teacup stash. So one of the projects that's also in the book is the turning a plate into a clock. That is on page 99 and hang on 99 yes yeah, so page 99 100 and 101 so i am going to insert the video to that tutorial if you want to check it out um it's an older one so this is just missing a battery so i found that so that can be on my display and i can just like do like a demo what i can do is i can just take apart the clock and assemble it and talk through about doing like drilling through China and then also like making a teacup, making like a trinket teacup thing is not in the book. However, I do reference to it. You make it the same way. So once you drill through the China, you then just use one of the assemble kits. So I found this one, this is an old one in my stash. So you just drill a hole through the two of them. You're gonna find that video and I'll insert it in here as well. I also like how the display is. So obviously I'm just kind of putting things together for when I have to do like a demo, but I feel like this will look pretty on a setup as well. And then I can have the book opened on the page when I'm doing the demo, but I'm liking how it's kind of looking. So I think the demo that I have to do for Hinterland, Hinterland is, I think I have to do like an hour. I think I have to do 45 minutes to an hour. However, that's not my whole demo. I only do like 20 minutes of like, doing the demo, making the teacup candles, talking through things, and then it's like a Q&A and like I sign some books. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go and get the exact date, but you can check out, I think their Facebook page. I'm gonna go and get the exact date, hang on. Okay, it's Sunday the 26th of June at 12 in Kells. I think it's where the, um, there's a historic site right there. But just hinterland. I think it used to be called the Hay Festival. I think one of the girls in O'Brien said. But it's like a literary festival, and there's loads of different like authors. And I'm doing my little teacup demo. But there's like there's like different crafts people. There be like poetry people. Um, but just go to their Facebook page because I don't think they've officially announced it. But I don't think I'll get in trouble for saying it. But yeah, June 26th, Sunday, 12. Um, I think you might have to buy a ticket. I think I've seen something about tickets, but I don't know about that end of things, so you'll have to just check that out. Also, this is my party piece if, I don't even want to say the words, if I get called for live TV. Um, I will have to adapt this for, most live TV sections are like five to seven minutes. I will have to adapt this and pre-melt the wax if it's for live TV. So I'll have to have a batch of melted wax. The only thing is, there's a bit of steam. Ooh, there's a bit of wind. There's a bit of steam when you add your essential oil and it starts mixing and then you pour it. So that's the only thing. Another thing as well, if it is live TV, your girl's gonna have the shaky hand. So holding my heat resistant jug, shaking away, 
I'll have to have an old shot of whiskey before I do a busher look. Anyway, we will come to that when we come to it. We may not even have to cross that bridge, so. I'm gonna pop in the older clip. If you wanna drill through a plate, handy enough, you just need a tile drill bit, and make sure you keep the tip of the drill bit nice and cool as you're drilling through the plate. You can either then turn it into a clock or you can turn it into like a little trinket tiered cake stand. Um, I'm gonna put that in here and everything will be time stamped and yeah, and then I'll give you an update of what's coming up because it's getting a little bit busy. The most important thing for this DIY is your drill and your drill bit. You are gonna need some extra things, but the drill bit is the most important. I'm using an eight millimeter tile and glass drill bit. Make sure you have the correct settings on your drill and the right speed, and then you can get ready to drill. When I was researching how to actually drill through porcelain, a lot of people taped the center or taped where they were gonna drill. So I'm just adding on some tape. I think it helps it um, to prevent it from cracking. I then just measured out and found this center and I just popped a dot to use as my guide before I drilled. I just popped a piece of scrap wood underneath the plate just to stop me from drilling through and drilling a hole in my office table. I have a mini bucket of water because this is to cool down the tip of my drill and also the plate. When you are drilling ceramic and tile and glass, it gets really, really hot. If it gets too hot, you can crack your piece. So take your time when drilling this. This isn't something you wanna drill super quick. This plate that I used today was actually quite thick, so it took me a bit longer. I had tested this out on a broken piece of china and it was quicker. It took me roughly three, four minutes to actually get a hole in this. Just be careful at the end because when you actually get it through, it can spin off like it did here. So just be extra careful and then you can peel off your tape and give it a quick clean. Drilling China can make quite a racket so Blondie had to come in and investigate and see what I was getting up to. It would not be a DIY video if it wasn't for a cameo from Blundy. I picked up this clock kit from Amazon. I think it was about 15 euros. I'll link to it below. It has instructions on the back, so I just simply followed the instructions. Depending on the clock kit that you buy, it's gonna have its own instructions. So it was really easy to assemble. Just make sure that you don't um, lose any parts because I actually assembled mine and I had a washer going spare, so I had to reassemble it. Once you are happy and you've adjusted to the time, you can pop your battery back in and you have just made yourself a clock. Here is the finished clock. So a couple of a couple of dates for you. So May 21st this Saturday, um, Easton's on O'Connor Street, my very first book signing. At the moment that's the only like book signing for now. I definitely want to do more. Um, but the lads, will, they're just kind of like organising them and I want to do them in other like corners of Ireland as well. But at the moment, that's the only one. The 22nd, Sunday, no, Monday the 23rd. So I'm going to the Chelsea Flower Show press day on Monday the 23rd. However, due to an agreement with the BBC, I'm not allowed to make a YouTube video of the press day. However, if you pop over to my Instagram, I'm allowed to do a set of stories or something. It's something to do with video and BBC. It's obviously clashing. As if I get the views the BBC gets. But anyway, 
we, we don't want to rock the boat, we want the press pass so we can go and see the flowers. So on Monday the 23rd, I will be in London and I'll put it all on my Instagram, but I'll also, I'll have my camera with me, I'll take loads of photographs and I'll also be doing like a London vlog while I'm there. Also keep an eye on my Instagram because if I get to do, I won't have like a formal book signing when I'm in London because I'm only there for a short space of time. However, I will be popping in. I've asked the guys to reach out to the like UK distributors and ask them what bookshops are in the area that I'm going to be in in London and if I can go in and just sign their stock. So when I'm in London, I'll just post and say, hey, sign the stock that's in whatever bookshop. There you go. The fun stuff happening, there'll be like a little vlog, get to have a ramble, but the reason, I feel like this video is a little bit thrown together, but it's just because there is some fun stuff happening, but I didn't want to like not upload and like me being nervous trying to pull up a, a stunt. <laughs> I feel like you guys, I mean you follow me for the journey, do you know what I mean? Like, please God, now I don't have to do me party piece too often and especially not on live TV. If you're a live TV producer, don't ask. <laughs> don't. My nephew said be gone. They even asked me doctor. I was like, here, you're gonna have to give me something for like, live TV anxiety, like, do you know what I mean? I do the meditation, I try and turn anxiety into excitement, but I just get worn out. My body is just like, it's too much excitement. But anyway, also pre-orders should be arriving they you should have most people should have gotten their pre-order by now especially in ireland northern ireland and the uk if you're overseas keep an eye on your postman because like i'd say maybe what a week to come from ireland let me know if you have received your pre-order if you if it was what you imagined if it wasn't i'm sorry <laughs> also if you are overseas and like I think Amazon is like early July, you can order from an Irish retailer and they'll ship it out. So Eason's Bookstations and I think there's a bookseller in Galway that ships international as well. But yeah, I will link to places that you can order from in Ireland and get it shipped international if you don't want to wait until July because Amazon.com I think is July. So that's all my news. I shall go forth and do some book promo. <laughs> And don't worry, there will be a Sunday garden video because I've ordered of a new flower pot. We have to repot the olive tree. I have some jobs to do before I swan off doing some book promo. And actually the garden, sorry, this is getting a bit waffly. The garden is like my grounding. So whenever I'm like, you know, anxious or, you know, I'm doing something all day, I come home in the evening and the garden is the sanctuary. So don't worry, there will still be a garden video. That is all my updates. Bear with me while well, the next few weeks are just a bit woo, -woo but I'm trying to enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.